how's it going? Welcome back. I haven't done a video in a long time and thought we'd give everyone a little bit of an update. Just here with my brother-in-law, Nick, giving him a hey. little bit of an education on cars as his knowledge of cars is, uh, let's say, uh, zero. That wasn't very nice. Uh, but I've been gone for a while. What's going on? What's going on? Tell me. Give me an update. I guess uh, we still got our uh, big job on the go, which is the uh, John Wick car. Love that movie. Never Love seen that. it. The hell you never seen that movie? You gotta watch them. You don't know anything about cars. You don't know anything about. Oh, you know about cars. I know. About cars. You know, go, like, I know about cars. Is it a Mustang? Of course, it's a Mustang. Hey, it's sure, it's a Mustang. Mustang. Our normal Mustang John, is a Fox body, John, but uh, this is a 1969 Mustang. The customer came to us with nothing but a dream and a desire to own the same vehicle that John Wick had in the John Wick movie. So uh, we started building the car. It's been a long process. Uh, we started literally with nothing. We built a complete Dynacorn shell, and we built the car, put it all together. And uh, here, let's take a look at the car and show you where we're at so far. I can't believe you didn't see that movie. Is it that good of a movie? It's a great movie. Okay, I'll watch it. So good they made it a few more. It's got to be a great movie. It's got a great car in it anyways. Oh, this car's awesome. So this is the car. This is where we're at so far. We're not done. We're nowhere near done, but it's getting there. Like I said, it was a complete build from scratch. So there was no parts that came with the vehicle. Every trim piece we had to buy. Uh, every weld, I'm proud to say, is ours. It has a brand new... Ford Illuminator motor, which is uh, the Mac Daddy, I guess, from Ford Performance. Uh, Frank, there's no seats in this car. Hey, sure, Nick. They're coming. There's nothing in the car. How's he going to drive it? By the way, aren't you guys going racing this year? We are. We plan to have a big influence at the track this year. We got one of our cars is ready to go. Here, you want to see it? Here, come. I'll show you. You going to take me this time? You never take me to the track. So this car here is a carbureted nitrous car. Good to go. This is Lionel. You know Lionel, my buddy Lionel? I love Lionel. He's a good guy, Lionel. So this is his car. We're ready. It's tuned. Good to go. So as soon as the season opens... Is Lionel going to be driving it? Of course he's going to be driving it. Who's going to drive it? You? Good luck, Lionel. Not too much luck if you're racing against him. Frank, what are you racing? Well, I don't really have a race car. I'm not going to lie. I got a lot of pieces for race cars, but I don't have a complete car. However, this is the car that I plan to go down the track with this year. Uh, it's been in a bunch of magazines over the years. Right now, it just has a pretty much a stock motor and transmission in it, and we're undecided. Maybe if our viewers are interested, they can give their opinions and votes. We're on the fence with going Coyote, naturally aspirated, 302 with a turbo, as it was built back in the 90s, a 302 with a supercharger. On the fence, not sure which route we're going, but definitely uh, this will be the car that we can take down the track this year. Is that a clock? A clock, Nick, really? Yeah, Nick. It's a clock. A big clock. And you got these bars all inside here. Safety first. Hey, whatever, uh, what's going on with those wheels of yours? Well, we still are in the plan of doing them. It's actually on this car right here. This is my baby right here. This is my 1983 Mustang. I built this car basically from top to bottom. It's uh, got the custom wheels that we're planning to manufacture soon. I hope to get them in production for this year for sure. On the back, we have a, a 10 inch wheel that uh, tucks very nicely. The offset is right. So we went with the factory look and uh, telephone dial, whatever you want to call it. It's a three-piece rim, fuel injection drivetrain from a 1986. So because we went with the full 1986 drivetrain, we also did full 1986 interior. Our version does have rear coupe uh, seats that were custom made by us as well. Left the jacket in there. That's probably Nick. Actually, not probably. Nick, where's your jacket? I think it's in the car. What do you do in that back seat? Make love. Quick question, what do you think about electric cars? I love electric cars. I'm sure one day we'll have an electric car. I don't know when, but one day. What's going on with the pace car? Nothing, it's just my car just sitting there. Sitting pretty. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support. And uh, let me know. If you want me to keep making videos, make some comments. Let me know if you want us to make videos on any of the builds we got going on, any of the stuff that we're doing. Don't forget, let me know if uh, your opinion on the race car. Whether you want us to go Coyote, whether you want us to go stock, naturally aspirated, turbo, supercharged. We're up in the air and we haven't been able to come up with a decision yet. And let me know if you want me to make some videos on more vehicles, different vehicles in the shop, what we're doing and what's going on. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and look forward to talking to you soon and seeing you on my videos. Peace. Wasn't me. Wasn't me.